Welcome back to Unwrap. Today we're staying warm with foods found during the winter months, like this popcorn. Check out how the traditional technique for popping kettle corn is growing, and uh, as they say in the Army, watch out for flying kernels. Popcorn, popcorn, get your kettle popcorn. You may have seen it. We're starting to go, starting to go. Heard it. And even smelled it. Coming over, coming over. But have you ever tasted kettle corn? You just want to keep on eating it. Kettle corn has been around since the mid-1800s when a Missouri farmer figured out how to give regular popcorn a light candy crunch. And in the olden days, they used an old cast iron kettle over an open fire. They'd throw some popcorn in there, some lard in there, and then throw a little bit of sugar in there. Until recently, the sweet treat was a mystery to much of America. We still find areas that we can go to that people don't know what it is. They'll walk up to you and they'll say, give me double butter, extra salt. But kettle corn is dramatically different from plain popcorn. It's kind of got like a sugary coating. Kettle popcorn is not supposed to be overly sweet. It's supposed to be just lightly sweet and lightly salty. Dan Terrell helped develop a way to cook kettle corn for a crowd. It's called Ye Old Kettle Cooker, and it's handmade in Oklahoma. We actually have patents on it, and, and we have won awards. First, super tough heat shields are built to insulate the burner. It gets about 800 degrees down in here. Then it takes several people to lift the heavy-duty kettle into place. Next, a hoop is attached and the basket is set in. This tub here is uh, where you dump the popcorn. It's uh, got holes in the bottom where the unpopped kernels are going through. Now this cooker is ready for some corn. A kettle is born. These days, the cooker is popping up at some of the biggest amusement parks. Here's how it works. First, a propane flame is turned on under the kettle. It should sound like a, a jet engine when you turn it on. Next, two scoops of oil are poured in. Your oil will get between 400 and 450 degrees. Uh, usually once it starts to smoke on you, you can tell that it's warm enough. A wooden ladle keeps the corn moving. You have to keep the popcorn moving very fastly so that it doesn't burn. Just as the corn starts to pop, a touch of sugar is added. In essence, vaporizes the sugar or draws it right into the kernel. So you don't have a coated type popcorn like you would in, say, uh, a caramel corn. Once it gets popping, the real work begins. A whistle signals when the batch is done. Salt is tossed in with the slightly sweet corn. Oh, it's good. Dan says it took lots of trial and error to come up with a perfect kettle corn recipe. There was an awful lot of batches thrown away. We tried everything from regular uh, sugar to brown sugar to powdered sugar in all different formulas. Once you've popped the perfect kettle corn, it doesn't last long. I've had people tell me they don't even like popcorn literally don't like popcorn and they can't quit eating this.